And welcome everyone to uh, Andy Katz Cats Chats here with the WCC. Andy Katz, please be joined by Admon Gilder. Battle for Atlantis is loaded, loaded. Uh, at least four top 10 type teams. And the teams that aren't in the top 10 are still pretty good, like Michigan, Iowa State, um, and a few others here. Uh, what's the mood with your group going into what really feels almost like uh, an Elite Eight, Sweet 16 type tournament? Uh, we're most definitely looking forward to it. You know, when we uh, when we break out of huddles, we always say that we're one of the best teams in the country, and we say that for a reason because uh, we we the bond we created and the things that we see each and every day and the potential that we have as a team, we're only going to get better. Um, I think that's one thing that practice gives us and um, just the game experiences that we're continuing to, uh, to develop here. So uh, we're looking forward to it. We think we can compete with anybody in the country. We're not going to back down from anyone, and uh, we're going to go into that um, the Battle of Atlanta ready to win it. You know, I, I've been there myself, so just kind of already understanding how everything is going to go, what, what places to go to, and uh, we just want to go in there with the right mind said and just be ready, ready prepared you guys blew out the aggies by 30 i don't care where it is against whom anytime you win on the road by 30 that's pretty remarkable how did the zags do it i think it was a team effort i think at the end of the day uh, when you look at the box score when you look at the success that we had at, um in uh, in aggie land it was a team effort i think everybody came in and pitched in really well um, we came off to a slow start but I mean, that's something, you know, um, as, as a new group, we're coming. That was our first true road game. And so at the end of the day, I feel like when we got comfortable, um, got, you start to see guys actually, uh, games come alive. Uh, what was it like for you? I mean, going back, I, I know it's a different staff. It's where you started your college career, spent the most of your time. What was it like to be back on that floor? Uh, it, it felt, for, first of all, it felt good just to be back in Texas. Uh, um, that's where I spent the majority of my life at and um, just from an A&M standpoint, I think it was amazing because I had my family, I had my supporters, I had so many different people there, they're looking forward to uh, having the best assist. So uh, most definitely we got the win, that's all the thing I was really worried about and, um, and you can just see that, that how we're just gelling as a team. You know, here's what's crazy. Uh, the Zags usually are a team that gets old and stays old. And yet this grouping, it, it, this is really different for Gonzaga. A lot of new faces, you and Ryan in the backcourt, um, you know, a lot of international guys. Killian Tilly's still not healthy yet, and you know you're gonna get him back at some point. How is this team meshed so quickly uh, and playing so well when it's a lot of moving pieces that weren't used to playing together? I think you, that speaks highly about Coach Field himself. Uh, he's been able to, come in and get a group of guys, whether it's grad transfers, whether it's freshmen, whether it's sophomores, uh, guys from overseas and stuff like that. I think that just speak highly of himself and what type of coach that he actually is. You know, he's just a great, incredible coach and uh, he knows exactly what he's talking about. He's, he's been able to win at the highest level. And so it's just one of those type of situations where whenever he says something, you just have to go with it because you know he's, he's, not, he's not already done it before, so. What's it been like to see that kind of crazy fan base even just, even though the games have not been as high profile yet, I think it's been incredible. Um, even since the crazy in the kennel when we had a little scrimmage against each other in uh, the early of October, I, I, I got to experience it really quick. And, you know, it's just something you have to experience it yourself because uh, it just gives you so excited, so much excitement, so much thrill to want to be out there on that basketball court. And uh, when you see them before the games, after the games, and you see them actually lined up before. Um, the games actually started like at 5 a.m. in the morning before the before the game. It just shows you what um, how how much this community, how much this uh, environment rather around this basketball team. Appreciate it, Admon. Thank you. Thank you.